the robot psychology system first of all we have a point and this point has a stimulus and then it gets a response so these lines represent functions and these circles represent uh, fields of points an array of super pixels here but here we've got the point now that point here we have the avatar who is the driver and there's steering towards the point so the simplest one is there's the steering towards that point and the stimulus might be to turn and then it's corrected there's a response or in other things it's a reward or punishment so there's an action leading to reward or punishment there's an initiative so this can be a stimulus or taking the initiative or following the signal following a signal of a point moving which is the line here and then being able to judge the velocity the relative velocity and to be able to accelerate or decelerate in relationship there now this is the immediate triangle which is the video you know the the the, the attention from point to point and there we have the distant senses triangle which is uh, hearing uh, smell and heat the heat sensors these are the distant senses you know so we're sensitive to heat um, and to sound and to smell from a distance space is identified by smell the time is identified through the sound and then is the, the heat and then we have the contact senses which are touch taste and posture you know the orientation here or well, the position of the vehicle its orientation the kinesthetic sense so as I say we have the point so at every point there's a judgment to move and then there's a response that which is recorded so it can be trained to steer or to react to different points and different situations the points on different plans or maps or positions and here it could be following a sat nav here we've got the velocity here we've got the face and we could obviously have many faces and for each face it records the character the voice the sound of the voice for every space that we identify with smell for in each space is a different function what we are depends upon where we are so so this triangle operates within the new space so this is the immediate triangle that's always operating this is the distant senses the contact senses and then if you look at the other videos you'll build up an understanding of a, like a tree of meaning a tree of meaning on these layers that each that they're all interconnected all interconnected so you can substitute different understandings from the, the, the different things of the unified field theory and the psychology so for every face there's a different character that identified with the voice is the voice recognition or the creation of the voice there we can zoom in or out to the space now remember all of this is the continuity triangle you know so that there's a memory of where all the objects were in the reality and so there's a different triangle here for every space and there's a different functioning of the avatar in every space so every super pixel you know can build up a different image a different structure different synesthetic structure of the reality and then you can switch from any any function to any other so like with 64 bits you can have each bit can control what each of the 64 steps of entoptic hopscotch which are the 64 properties of the super pixel you know as, as uh, an oops object so each of the functions can be controlled by that different property and we can switch from one property to the next so 
you know, like this is the intensity. If the intensity gets too much, then then it can influence something else. It can make the object be rotated. You see, here we have the position, and there we have the objects. And this is a catalog of objects, and they can be scaled or rotated to fit in to the position. So each of these got a function, which I've gone through in the autonomous systems videos. Um, So this is for you know gaming, uh, multi-century gaming, and more intelligent gaming. So you can see from the tree of meaning, you can build up levels of meaning. So there's actual different characters, you know, d different facial expressions, relationships, and different things happening, and obviously different communications about different positions and different situations. If you look at it basically again, there you have the vehicle, the body, and there we have the clutch or the gear to the motor. The motor is seeking or finding an object. Seeking an object, or it finds the object it's looking for, it has a supply and demand, which at one level is fuel, but it can be for any object that it's got to seek. And there we have a, you know, the continuity, the flow of things. So you can see the flow of things and identify which object. Here we, we've got the t space and time. So there's a schedule. It can move around in, in a schedule. Um, here we have logistics. You know, from the objects to the time is logistics. In one way, it's a problem. In the way, it's a solution. A problem of logistics, a solution to put things in the right order. This again is about putting things in the right order, right or wrong. So see what I mean? There's a response, it's yes or no, right or wrong, a problem and a solution, moving the object to fit in. There we have the stimulus, the response to the point, and then it's in and out, namely in and out of that point, of that space. Um, as I say, if you look at the other videos and build up an understanding of the structure and the tree of meaning, then the, the games can be developed. For example, with these objects, the taste could just be named. Just be named. Same with the space. The smell could just be named. Provided it's understand, understood that smell identifies the space and taste that and identifies the object, you know, at a primitive level.